Hey everyone, Noel here for JotForm. Today we're going to cover how to use conditional logic to skip pages based on the user's form field input. I think you'll find it super helpful. All right, let's go. OK, so we're going to use a sample form in this video. It skips to a page depending on the option selected in a drop-down menu. I'm going to walk you through the steps on how I set this one up. First, you're going to add a drop-down field that will be used as the basis for the skipping of pages. You can use other form fields like text boxes, radio buttons, etc., depending on how your form works. But for this video, we'll just use a drop-down field. Then, make your form into a multi-page form by adding page breaks. For this video, we'll add two of them. Next, you'll need to set the conditions. So you'll need to go to Settings, click Conditions, then select Skip to, Hide a Page. Now you'll need to set the if statement for when the page skip will happen. Here you'll need to select the page that the user lands on when they click the Next button. In this case, the condition looks like this. If the drop-down field Skip to Page is equal to 3, then skip the user to page 3 after clicking the Next button. It's really just a matter of repeating these same steps for any other pages you may want to add, depending on how you want the rest of your interactive form to work. So there you have it. You just learned how to skip pages using conditional logic on JotForm. OK, let's do a quick recap. In this video, we learned how to add a drop-down menu to a sample form make your form into a multi-page form by adding page breaks, and set up the skip to conditions of the form. OK, I hope you found this video helpful. My name is Noel, and this is JotForm. See you all later.